I can't go outside without my weapon. I miss his head when I shot. Nigga had a death wish. Ain't gotta get ready for no beef. I stay on go. I be everywhere like a hooper. I bring it straight to your door. Oh, oh. Can't get caught without it. I gotta leave with my pistol. Can't get caught like in the traffic. I'ma let it ring out the window. I'ma shoot, shoot, shoot. When I pull up on you, hanging out the sun. Hey, be hot. Radio Sauter. Shouty, what the hell's going on, man? Man. What's up, Radio Sauter? What's up with you, man? Man, bro? over here cooling out, man. My damn nasal allergies been trying to take a play out the game. Man, you know what man. you need, man. You, you know what you need? You need Sounds some good. grapefruit, bro. Grapefruit is the best thing you can get. Okay. Okay, I'm about to get on that. I'm about to get on that. I'm I'm gonna I'm send you a list. You know, that's why you never see me sit. You did. Yeah. I never sit. Yeah. You know what I mean? My I don't never go. You got to get that. Uh, A lot of people don't like tart stuff and citrus things. I yeah. like sour candy. That's the only candy. You don't never see me eat cake. I don't yeah. like hams. I don't, you ain't gonna, nigga. I don't, I don't want no barbecue sauce on my ribs. <laughs> you feel me? I don't eat sweets like that. When it comes I to the, like, I, the tart stuff, the acid stuff, you feel me? Like, what you need to do is get you always keep a bottle of pure grapefruit juice in your house. Okay. okay. Pure cranberry juice. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And when you get used to it, it's really tart if you ain't used to sour stuff and tart things, but it's good. Yeah. Okay, no, I'm here for that because I'm in this bitch sounding like Humpty Hump in this motherfucker. Oh, nah, man. <laughs> if you had some grapefruit juice, if you had some grapefruit juice in your house right now, you would be scraped. Trust me. Trust me. But you what know? the hell's going on, Shouty? You know I had to tap in this thing and see what's popping around here, man. Man, nothing, man. You know, I've been waiting to come on the show. And I was like, you know, I had a bunch of people, like I said, I was going to go live, and I had a bunch of people, so I just, you know, I'm just hitting my folks. You feel me? Yeah. I was just trying to figure out who's going to come on. And it, it, it's dope that you came on. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I was hearing a couple people. Nobody was, you know what I'm saying? We just sitting here talking about the music business and you know, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um I see you got the uh, lighting and everything going on over there. I got to pull up on you and check out this studio and see what the hell's going on. I mean, on, you know, you, I, you already got the address. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Whenever you whenever you ready. But I got to pull up to your new spot. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. So, I ain't pulled up there. You know what I mean? I and, mean, uh, how do you feel about Archie passing, man? Because that didn't want everybody that, out, man. That's why I hit you, too, because I've heard a lot of that. I, I didn't know if it was real. I didn't know what was going on. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, so can you give me some detailed information? Like, do you know? Well, see, I it, don't even know. I don't even know exactly how, what, when, or where, because I'm still kind of trying to process it myself. I just know the word is out that he's gone, but I don't know exactly what was going on. So nobody you. contacted you yet? So we don't no, have nobody. You Ain't know. nobody hit nobody about that. I mean, mm -hmm. folks, is, you know, when folks pass, you know, it's just, it's a family probably still processing what's going mm -hmm. on, man. So, I mean, folks is having a hard time, you know, just really sharing mm -hmm. that. They just probably letting out the news that he gone, man. And, I mean, it's just sad because, I mean, he was another one of those folks that right, put it right. down for the town, man. Shit. I mean, it's always sad to lose one of us. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And, um, you don't know what's real or fake. And it's like, as soon as I got on live, that was the first thing. So I'm just sitting here, like, I'm telling people, like, give me the facts. Let me know, because I don't want to say nothing. I don't want to, you know, I don't be saying RP if somebody ain't dead. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And you know me, you know me when I'm in professional mode, you know me as an asshole. <laughs> you know? and that, that's why I want you to do my, you know, narrate my documentary for me. You know, and um, you know, we never know. We never know what's going exactly. on. Exactly. You know? What the hell's going on with the documentary, though? Shout out, what all you getting into on this thing? I mean, you know, I'm just waiting on you because you the narrator. Oh. You know, I've been ready to go with that, man. Don't start that with me. Nah, nah, but come on, come on, be high. Yeah. You know, 
You don't blew up on YouTube and shit. <laughs> I don't see you like that no more. You know what I mean? I ain't hard to find. You know what I'm saying? I, like, I, was, I was talking to Fiend. I was talking to Fiend the other day. He pulled up on me. And I said, damn, yeah. he, I ain't pulled up. Get back. I said, oh, yeah, he did come pull up on me in that Airbnb. Yeah. We, we did a lot of editing. Yeah. We did a lot of editing. That's yeah. right. And I, I, I was like, man, I think D. Howe might have been frustrated with that editing because it was... It, <laughs> it, 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 yeah, I didn't even put out the interview. I put out one clip and shouted that stuff. Right. No more. <laughs> right, but at the same time, at the same time, me and you always talk like brothers. You know yeah, what I'm saying? you know, I feel you. Like I tell you, you know, I don't give a damn. One thing like, that I ain't gonna do is put out some shit. No, no, uh, no, no, nobody want that. One thing I love about you is like having an interview with you. Is like you respect the fact that, like, I can say, bro, you think think I should have said that? I I could be second guessing. Like, is it time for me to say this right now? Is it, <laughs> you know? And you'll be like. You you give me the real, you know yeah. What I'm saying? And that's that's the whole thing. So it was like, at the time, it was like, that shit. I was mad as fuck. You knew you, you knew yeah. I was mad as fuck at the time we did that. That ain't hot. You know what I'm saying? But was it ready to come out? That's the whole thing. And it's like, yeah. if I'm gonna do an interview with anybody, it's always gonna be be hot because I, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You don't let me do no stupid interview. It's like. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna let me come do no. It's real as fuck, but you ain't gonna let me. It's like if, if a person feels crashed like, out. Yeah, yeah, you ain't gonna let me do that. You know what I'm saying? Cause the whole goal, you know what I'm saying? The whole goal is is, is to talk about our our positive vibes, our, our evolution. You know, we 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 still gotta talk about the uh, Michigan school and fuckeries. And yeah. People, and it's like in this day and age, you could tell somebody just fucked up some shit that happened 10, 20 years ago, and that's mm. all they take out the whole interview. Mm. They, the whole message. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like even when I get on live, like, you know, I can't even be short of red because I'm so in the mix of uh the hate between a Jesus situation or a Gucci man situation. Mm. So it's like, so you know the trolling and shit, and I'm not used to trolling and shit. I don't know how to handle shit. I can only be me. So it's like, you know, if I can show you, I can show you my block list, and you'd be like, damn, this nigga done block this many people. That shit is crazy. <laughs> you know, but um, my 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 point to this is is is. When you get the opportunity to have people that is genuinely doing something that's trying to motivate, uh, put people on platforms, and not misuse the time, not misuse uh, people' work ethics. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I feel like when we on live and people misuse my work ethics, I feel it's mm. everybody fucked up. Am yeah. I wrong for that? Mm. You know what I'm saying. And no, my mom was like, okay, well, cool. Y'all gonna let motherfuckers just come here and troll. I'm speaking all this knowledge to y'all. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Boom, boom. And, and you know, you get frustrated and you got snapped and people get shot your character. You be high, you be anything. Like, yeah. You put me on YouTube and I'm like, I can't even put my own music on YouTube because my shit getting took down. But motherfucker can record me and put me on YouTube. Make me look like a clown. Mm. So, social media game is, is crazy. And you were the first person that told me I needed to do my YouTube. Yeah. You know what I mean? Answer me this, though, Shouty. As far as production, man, I mean, what are you working on now? And what uh, equipment are you using? Are you still banging out on that MPC? Are you messing with the machine? Do you? Because I know you are uh, a car ambassador too, right? Yeah. So what you what you cooking on? And do you even use for the loops? Being that you can play. Nah. I've used I used Fruity Loops one time. That's the first time that I signed D Rich. Yeah. 
you know, and and me signing D Rich was like, I wanted to do pop music. I wanted the bigger check. So I put when I signed D Rich, I felt like D Rich was the best man for the job to do pop music. So that's why I signed him. And yeah. I taught I taught him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I could go over here and keep doing sexual seduction type of records and get to the Katy Perry's, the Britney Spears at, 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 at the time. You know what I'm saying? And he'll do the trap. You know, I still use the same equipment I always use. Like, like they trophies. It's like, you come to my studio, like, the shit is, it's a trophy. Like, I don't even plug this shit up. I got Dang. every beat machine. I got every NPC that I've contributed to, and I keep going. Like, you feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got my PlayStation right here, and I'm still working on Pro Tools. And you get what I'm saying? Like, I see. like niggas don't understand. I live. I love music. I just I can't put up with the bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? I feel like. It's like, I can't put over the bullshit. It's like, my own people that I grew up with fucked me over. Why the fuck I'm going to work with you and allow you to be around me? Yeah. If, if you think that's the mentality. I feel like if, if I ask you, if I, like, like, if I'm asking you to narrate my documentary, right? Yeah. You want me to pay for your service. Yeah. Right? That's right. That's how I feel. Same way. I don't understand yeah. how, uh, you know, you, you got to know your worth. I'm just as hot as a Jesus. So when the motherfucker illegally put my music on me, he had these issues like that. But the bigger man win because of a fan base. And mm -hmm. at the end of the day, business is business. I don't, I don't think that fair. I don't, yeah. I don't think that when people shit on me because I pop my shit about a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga be subliminal in they raps all the time. But they post yep. the nigga. I'd rather nigga say my name. If you talking about me, say my name. Cause I'm gonna say the same yeah. shit. But but that's who everybody loves. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather say my motherfucking name. Give me a stand of response. response. Yeah. And then I'll put out the car fast. You feel me? Don't be <laughs> don't be sneak this in the nigga. Cause it ain't yeah. like that. And that's the whole perception. Like niggas think, niggas think I'm mad at a person because I'm broke and I'm bitter. And we got to get that perception out. Like niggas not mad. Like professional people. I'm a professional person. I am sort of red. Like I've been doing this shit before. Your favorite artist, your favorite whoever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So my thing is, when motherfuckers do that shit. That's a slap in the face. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and then you got to be politically correct because of labels and shit. Because if you say certain shit, you out of the building. Yeah. You can't really say shit. Because then that, that fuck up, that fuck up you producing the next person or the next person or the next person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who all well, is here working with lately? Huh? Who all you been working with lately? Man, I don't work with everybody. Yeah. The difference is you only fall off when Shawty Red and I talking on track. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When I ain't doing the ticks in the record now, when I ain't talking on the track, it's like you fell off. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But when I was doing that shit, everybody copied the style. Yeah. Everybody come to style, everybody start doing it. You know what I'm saying? So then it's like, mm, is that a shot of red beat? So my thing is, I got caught up in that way. I got caught up in that way when niggas was talking about I was still in beat. Right. Like I was the producer, they signed producers, they made my beat. So so now it's like, okay, cool. And yeah. that was too bad. You know what I'm saying? And D. Rich is one of the biggest young producers. Yeah. Ever. And he's just a turtle. And people don't understand that. D. Rich is a turtle. 
Mm. He moves slow. He don't want to come out of his shell. I tell him that all the motherfucking time. He knows this shit. If the yeah. people room for you, I done told this nigga, if the people room for you, take your ass out there and claim what is yours. That's right. He represent us. Until D Rich does that, then I look like the nigga that signed D Rich. They still mm. producing Jeezy, produce Gucci Man, Bank Road Fresh, they fucked them up. And mm. we had them conversations all the time. Damn. But he don't capitalize off of what the fuck he supposed to do. Yeah. And you can't force that on nobody. You can't force yeah. somebody to step in the light. Yeah. They can tell you that when you first meet them, but you can't force them. So when he told me that, I went in that big boat. So I was pushing them like, you finna do, I finna put that pressure on you. You finna do everything Shout of Red was doing when I signed. You feel me? Yeah. Then, it, then it, my situation happened. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I think that that pushed him back even more. But at the end of the day, he really is bigger than me. Mm. And he don't even understand it. I've been telling him, I'm like, bro, you bigger than me, and you not even moving like you supposed to be. You supposed to be moving. Like, you supposed to be. You let all these other people. It's like, how is uh, Mike, Mike Will, no disrespect to none of these producers, but how is these people bigger than the originators? Because yeah. you're rich, supposed to be a headliner right now. And it wasn't yeah. because you the red or my business. You feel me? Yeah. How are these same people making beats like D Rich? Like that's his sound. You feel me? Yeah. The who that sound, all that shit, all this this way, all that shit. That's D Rich shit. And I tell yeah. him that all the time. That's not Shorty Red. I signed him because I always had the street singles. I always had the album fillers. Who that was the first single me and Jeezy ever did. Mm. Period. So I wanted him to keep going. He didn't want to keep going because everybody started copying his sound. So my, yeah. if you don't go back and do that shit, we lose. So he started making the dark dimension beats that I made. Mm. The amens, the hypnotized. He's that's what his sound. Is. That you feel me? Yeah. And people want. Rich to do the other shit. Mm -hmm. So I can't argue. I can't argue. I got so, baby. Him. Yeah. I, I gotta let him be him. You know, yeah. it's different now. It's like I can't even be in the room because my passion is music. So the, if I snap on somebody in in the music, at, so, mm -hmm. they look at me as a personal thing. Oh, this nigga. Yeah. This somebody. This nigga mad. He just, uh, they don't get it like CEO shot It's like, yeah. They like, oh, oh, no, this nigga. Yeah. yeah. So I can't really deal with nobody. My God. My God. And well, shout out my gang. They just bust man. back in the house, man. I need to holler at them because I'm about to eat good in this thing. And I'm going to tap back in with you. What you looking like next week, fool? Just give me the schedule, fool. You know, I'm going to pull up. I'm in the I'll city. Be, you then. be looking for me tomorrow, then, boss. Hey, man, I appreciate you, my bro. No problem, man. Be yeah, safe out no there. No edits. Time. We ain't doing no edits this time. All right, now. Let don't don't play with me, bro. <laughs> All right, man. Oh. Enjoy your meal, man. Love you, bro. Thank you. Love, man. Oh. Radio Sony.